Hello everybody, today I will be making the egg foo yang recipe. I'm going to start with the ingredients. Over here I have five, uh, six eggs uh, and I separate the yolk from the white. Over here I have one cup of um, bean sprouts, one cup of cabbage shredded, and a half a cup of carrots, a half a cup of uh, mixed vegetables, and over here I have a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. And I have one pound of shrimp. Uh, I use a fresh one. And if you buy the fresh ones, make sure you take remove, you know, the black thing over here. And I cut them in pieces, okay? For frying, I'm going to be using my vegetable oil. And over here for the gravy, I have two tablespoons of cornstarch. I have... Um, two cups of beef broth, and I have the sauce over here. Over here I mix one, one tablespoon of oyster flavor sauce, and one tablespoon of um, sesame oil, and one tablespoon of black soy sauce, and one tablespoon of soy sauce, the regular one, okay? So we're gonna be starting by uh, make, uh, mixing all the white egg, and then, we keep on going. Okay, when the egg is fluffy like this, we're gonna be adding the eggs over here. Put everything in here. And we mix them over here. Now I'm gonna put the pepper and the salt in here, okay? And mix them a little bit. So we're gonna start by mixing all our vegetables. So this is the bean sprouts, the cabbage, and the carrots, and the mixed vegetables. And we mix them real good in here. You see how fluffy our egg is? So we're going to put our shrimp over here. We mix them, and it's going to look like this. You see how it looks? And we're going to start frying now, okay? Okay, now we have our egg over here, so we're going to start, we're going to start by frying. So I'm going to try to, to take a little of everything. If you see, squish it a little bit. And over here. Right there. Same as frying, frying an egg. And then we turn them around, okay? Okay, they're ready to be turned. So I'm gonna turn them like you normally do when you fry an egg. Right there. And right here. And over, over here I put a plate with a paper towel. That way all the oil can stay on the paper towel. You see they're gonna be looking like this. So I'm gonna finish them all and then I go to the next step. And that's how they look, we already done. So we're gonna go by the next step. We're gonna be doing the gravy. Okay, I'm gonna be mixing the, the two cups of, of um, beef broth or chicken, whatever the one that you prefer. So I'm gonna be putting the sauce over here. And every other right here, right there. So it makes it very well. But over here, I'm gonna separate probably like three tablespoons. That way, I can mix the 
the flour let's put four four tablespoons so i'm gonna put them here and i'm gonna be mixing the the cornstarch over here so we can do our gravy okay whoops so mix it over here and leave it over here on the side and we're gonna start cooking this okay i'm gonna put it in the fire and i have my gravy over here on the fire well now the gravy is just the mixer that i make right here so we're gonna wait until it boil once you start seeing um, the juice to boil then we put the cornstarch okay okay it already start to boil so i'm gonna mix the cornstarch over here mix it a little bit more there you go as you can see it's right here we don't want it too too thick okay because we're gonna put it over here together with our eggs let's see and it's done we're gonna start using the same pan where we fry our egg and um, we're gonna start by putting gravy over here on the bottom first We're gonna put the gravy like this, you can see. And then we're gonna be putting our egg in here. Let's see how many we got. And every layer that you put, uh, put over here, you're gonna be putting gravy like this. And another layer of gravy. And it's gonna be looking like this okay and this is how it looks uh if you want to use you know chicken broth or beef broth i think it tastes better with the chicken broth but it's your choice and um and remember not to put salt on the gravy anymore because the soy sauce has a lot of salt this is how it uh, it looks when it's already done and I usually serve them uh, with uh, white rice. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you like the recipe.